Prince Igor is like many Russian operas, unfinished. It's a masterpiece, but it's an unfinished torso. It's like one of these Michelangelo sculptures that's half emerging out of the stone. Uh, like lots of works of Mazorsky, um, uh, Prince Igor was uh, not finished when Borodin died. This means you have this magnificent, epic, huge piece, which has, you know, war scenes and uh, clips of the sun and uh, battle scenes and drunken orgies and huge ballet spectacle. Um, and you have to then realize, well, that's okay, but what's the opera about? And I think what's fantastic about the piece is that it's actually a story about human beings. It's a story about people in war. It's a story about a man and his wife. Um, it's a story about identity, about the search for, for meaning in, in, in a terrible world. And these things, of course, are timeless. Is a very human figure, a flawed man. He's not perfect. And so we see Prince Igor not just as a king, not just as a, as a tsar, not just as a prince, not just as a figure of power, but as a, as a deeply flawed human being who loves, who desires, who is frustrated, who loses, um, and he struggles with these, these questions. And I think that this is very important that I like to present the struggle and not the answer.